What is going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to cut out a person or an object from a photo onto another and it's very easy to accomplish. All you have to do is know how to use the pen tool and I made a video on that and I'll post an annotation right now where you guys can click on that and you guys can watch the video on uh, from there on how to use the pen tool and it's really not that hard. So. First, we're going to go ahead and begin. We're going to go ahead and zoom in. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to just take out this uh, guy right here from the image. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it into another picture here. I'm going to just go over to a, uh, a wallpaper of some sort. Um, I'm probably going to use, uh, let's see, some good uh, a good background So for, for this uh, example. So in my, pre in my previous video... I did um, like a speed art on uh, how to, or I just did a speed art on uh, just making an explosion or something in the background, and um, and that was pretty cool, and you guys really liked that, so I decided uh, I want to show you guys how to uh, remove like the person and put it onto a background, because there is a lot of like YouTube videos out there, but there isn't, um, there isn't like a lot of good uh, tutorials out there. So I decided to make my own because because you, you guys love my content. So I decided why not? Okay, and you guys also requested a uh, Photoshop tutorial on my straw poll. So I'll also add another straw poll in the description so you guys can vote. Please vote uh, for a next video. And uh, yeah, so if you guys still want a Photoshop tutorial, I'll keep doing it. If you guys want something else, that's for you to decide. So if you guys want um a uh, an i like an idea or something that I could add to the straw poll, please tell me because I will add it. So just saying. And the max is five. So so to begin, first make sure you have your background and right now it's locked. That's okay. We're just gonna be going and we're gonna select our character here. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in quite a bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and start right here. So what you want to do when you're selecting a person is don't start on the outside like this. Cause what that will do it um because that will um, it will pretty much get our background and we don't want that we just want to select our character or our object or whatever a person or a dog whatever it is just make sure it's inside just a little bit inside okay so I'm gonna go right here I'm gonna start and move your pen tool upwards to the uh, direction of our person so or our edge here so I'm gonna just continue and go up as you can see I'm going slightly inwards if you want to move around your uh, center point here just hold down command or control I believe uh, on a PC and this will allow you to move it and when it comes a big turn as you can see there just hold down option or alt on a PC and you can drag it out and that way you can create a curve just like so um, so I'm gonna do it right here and this should always be facing forward. That's where our edge is going towards. So I'm gonna move this straight like this. I'm just concentrating on this point right here on the edge. So I'm just clicking and dragging. And once I'm done, I'm gonna hold down Alt or Option on a Mac. Hold, uh, click and hold and drag it up just like that. And I'm gonna do it again, just inwards slightly. And I'm gonna go outwards. If you mess up, that's okay. Just press Command Z and start over not all over again but just where you left off i'm gonna click and drag up um so like that concentrating here and then there's gonna be a big time turn right here so i can't just keep going because then it's gonna leave this right here so i'm gonna hold down option and i'm just gonna drag it up like that so now i'm gonna just go and move it upwards like that the more or the less uh points you add on your image or whatever the less detailed the image will be so like if you keep adding like a lot of them like that it's gonna look really choppy and it's not gonna look um, really good so that's if you're in more uh, smaller places so cuz this is more of a, a rounded shape um, I'm just doing this fairly uh, like I'm not adding a lot of points I'm just going like this so just keep that in mind when you're doing this stuff so you can see a big turn right here so I'm gonna just keep going and I'm gonna just keep going this way 
I'm keeping track of our, our edge right here. And I'm going to keep going down. Make sure you stay within our um, person here or whatever you're doing. Okay, and then I'm going to click here. You can also just click and then we'll just pretty much stop um, the curve. And then if you click again, it will just create a sharp turn. So I'm going to just uh, click and drag like that towards the middle like that. We'll click outwards. I'm going to hold down Option, move it up a little bit. I'm going to click and drag. Make sure this is facing forward. Click and drag, and you can see it's looking pretty good. So now I'm going to hold down Option. I'm going to move or Option and move this down a little bit. I'm going to start uh, like right here, something like that. A little bit more closer. Again, you can always move it. So press Command and click, and uh, I'm going to just go ahead and do this uh, fairly quick for you guys so you guys don't have to, uh, you know, um, waste too much time on this. So I'm on the option. Oops. Keep holding command. And once you're done, just click um, on the outside and whoops, like this. And then to your starting point, it should be a circle. Click and that will end your path. So here it is. We selected our character. You can see our, our line. If you don't see that, press Shift Command H or Shift Control H, or just go over to View, and then uh, it should say uh, Target Path right here. Show Target Path. So now you click Paths over here, and you can see Work Path. So that means we've done it correctly. You can also, if you want to, like, if you wanted to come back and fix something, just go over to our Pen Tool, um, or is it our Pen Tool? Our direct, our direct selection tool, so I believe, yep, here we go, or path selection tool. Uh, either one works, you can just click on our point here, and then go back to the pen tool, and then you could, you know, sub, like, uh, delete uh, delete a point here, um, or you could just click or add um, a point, or an anchor point towards your um, line here. So, I'm not going to do that right now, so I'm going to just press Command Z for that right now. And I'm going to go, I'm good with my work path, so I'm going to go back to layers. I'm going to click our um, layer mask. So click on that. And uh, whoops. Before we do that, let me undo that. Press Command D or go back here. <clears throat> what I want to do is I'm going to go press P. So once you've selected everything, right click and click make selection. Feather radius is 0 0.5 because you want to feather it. You want to make it look realistic. Uh, you don't want it to make, you don't want it to make it look fake when you, you know, move it to another uh, image. So I feather it to about 0 0.5 and that pretty much smooths, 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 how can I say this? I cannot say. It smooths <laughs> the edge. Uh, so it's not as sharp, but curve. Uh, so yeah, anti -al anti aliased. I believe that's how you say it. If not, I'm like really off right now. Check, make sure that's checked. Operation, new selection, click OK. There you go. And then go back to our layer one, click it, and click our layer mask, and there you go. So, sorry for the horrible uh, grammar there. Usually I'm pretty good at my grammar, but uh, sometimes I really mess up. So, uh, here it is. We can now move it around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to uh, my thing here. So, is it Los Angeles HD? Here it is. Whoops. So let me see. Workspace. Um, yeah. Okay. So let me go back to our image here. So, whoops. I don't want to do that. Oh, actually, yeah. All right. So when you have selected your image here, uh, you want to go ahead and hold down Command or Control on a PC. Click our um, layer mask thumbnail, and you're gonna see a little square with a. Uh, marching ants around it. Click on that and then press command C. This will copy whatever is inside. Then go back to window or if you don't have to go there, um, it's just mine is on full screen. So go over to window, go over to loss um, or to your image, press command V and there you go. Here is our person or our object. You can see it looks, uh, it looks fake right now and that's okay. We can always fix this. But because he's looking uh, slightly towards the, to the left, I'm going to move it over this way because you can see our how he's walking this way. So I'm going to make it look like he's coming out that way. You can also uh, make it smaller if you wanted to so it doesn't look 
you know, too fake. Um, so I think this looks good. And you can always mess around with the uh, curves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click this. I'm going to go over to curves. And I want to just it kind of, uh, should I decrease it? Yeah, I'll decrease it because the image is already dark on the person. And um, you can see there's a sunset. So we're assuming it's getting dark. So I'm just going to kind of move this slightly to up. And you can see our light, which is perfect because there's lights everywhere right and you can just play around with everything like the curves uh, I'm not gonna do that right now uh, I'm gonna move this slightly in move this a little bit like that and I'll move this like upwards just a little bit and then you could always add a um, a levels so this will just allow you to customize mo pretty much the whole image. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to match uh, our contrast between our person, our object, and our background, which is the city. So um, try not to make it look too fake, because if I make it too dark, it's going to look really weird and creepy. So I'm going to go like right here. And then I make this a little bit brighter. And then once I've done that, you can do um, like a bunch of stuff after this. Um, like you can do really a, like a lot of stuff. But this is pretty much how you, uh, you know, copy something from an object or a person onto another image. So yeah, I mean, if this helped you in any way, any shape, form, then please leave a like in the description or in the ratings below. I always say description for some reason. I don't know. It's really weird. Um, and yeah. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much our final image. Um, so if we were to zoom out, you can see it looks, eh, it looks, it looks all right. Maybe the person's a, a little too um, big, so I'll make it a little bit smaller. Just a tad, eh. like that. Does that look good? Or in the middle? Well, I think in the middle, because he's kind of walking towards the middle. Anyway. So yeah, um, if this helped you in any way, please leave a like in the rings below. Please don't forget to vote because I do check. And uh, yeah, so leave a comment if you want to. I always read them and it always puts a big smile to my pretty face. So I will catch you guys on my next video. Peace.